So we're going to be setting up for our two labs this week. We're going to set up for the House with Sunrise lab and also the Crab lab. Let me show you how to set up first for the House with Sunrise lab. Uh, this is a PCSA, so we're, we're basically right here. Uh, so we're going to go over to the Google Classroom. And we're going to make our way over to the classwork section where it says House with Sunrise Lab. When I click on that, you'll see that there are some directions here for you on how to do this lab. Now, there's two things. You notice that there's a compressed archive. This is the zip file, which I need you to download here. So it's a little tricky. If you get here, it's not so obvious how to download it. What you need to do is you need to come over here to these three dots, and you say open a new window. And then once you say that, then the download moniker appears for some strange reason. I don't know why it wasn't there before. Anyway, you click on that download button, and you'll see that it will download the zip file onto your computer. Now, if I come down here and say show in folder, you'll see that the zip file is located probably in your downloads directory, wherever you have it defaulted to download to. And this next part I'm going to tell you is really important. For some reason, a lot of students skip this step and then they get into trouble later in their lab. What I need you to do is double click on this zipper file. And when you double click on it, you'll see that it will unzip it and show you the unzippered file. And you need to take that unzippered file and put it one of two places. You can either drag it to your desktop, which is what I'm going to do, or you can drag it to your numbered drive under BlueJ, which is a better place to put it because that way you'll be able to reach it from any computer in the room, uh, and it's much better. But right now, I'll just sort of take the shortcut of just dragging it onto the desktop. Once again, it's better to drag it into your numbered drive in the BlueJ folder. All right, so once we have that, we can close this out, and now we have this folder to work with. If I look in that folder, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of files here. The one that we're interested in is this package file, which starts up BlueJ. So if you double click on that, you'll see that it will power up the BlueJ, and it will bring uh, these five classes onto the screen. And the first thing you want to do is hit the compile button so that you know that all the files have downloaded properly. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit of this today, but Mr. Roth will guide you through most of this on Wednesday. But for now, all you have to do is go over to the My Picture file, put your cursor in the middle of it, right mouse click, and hit Main, and hit the OK button, and then some weird stuff should show up on your screen that looks like that. Some circles, a square, uh, some stuff should move around, et cetera. Are we all good with that? Now, if you're having trouble getting that to happen, raise your hand and Mr. Roth will come by and help you. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to go to the media center, miss, and you need to keep up with us here because this is new material, so, um, all right. So let me show you what the finished product looks like. Uh, I'm gonna just come over here to YouTube and type in house with sunrise. That's what you're building right there. So let me show that to you again. So you can see that the little sun goes up in the sky, et cetera. Now I wanna be clear, this is my house with sunrise. Your house should look different. You should have different colors. Probably wanna center the house more, make it bigger. This will be the one chance in your life to build a house as big as you want without having to pay more money. And then you notice that the house uh, comes together and then the sun slowly rises in the sky. It has to go upward. So that's the sunrise part. So that's basically what you have to build. Now, uh, I'm going to have Mr. Roth uh, on Wednesday go over uh, and prep you for this lab by going over uh some of the following so the first thing i want to see this is going to be called uh, uh hints for a house with sunrise and first thing i want to see is that you need to have good variable names for your for all your variables so good 
variable names. So what do I mean by that? So if you look at the project right now, let's go over to BlueJ and look at, for example, this my picture file. Uh, you'll see that there are some terrible variable names like C1. That's a terrible variable name, S1 for square. Those are not good variable names. So for example, if I was going to use a circle to represent the sun, who can tell me what would be a good variable name for that circle? Yes, Kevin? Sun. So instead of going circle C1 equals new circle, you would instead go circle sun equals new circle. So this would be the wrong way to do it. This would be the right way to do it. And Mr. Roth, when you demo your lab to him, is going to check to make sure that all your variables have appropriate names. So getting back to my, um, uh, getting back to the picture uh, that we showed you here, uh, you might call this like left window and right window, things like that. Now you notice here that there is no rectangle and you look at this door here and that's a rectangle. So part of the puzzle for Wednesday is how do you build this door if you only have squares? So you have to figure that out. And um, I'm gonna have him go over some other items with you specifically, uh, a difference between slow move and move, and also the difference between uh, move and move uh, horizontal. Um, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of little, oh, and um, a difference between a square change size and triangle change size. So um, square change size only takes one parameter. Triangle change size takes two parameters. He'll, he'll go over all this stuff with you on Wednesday before you get started. Now, uh, in case you're thinking, looking at this, thinking, boy, that sure looks hard. I should tell you that I use this project. Uh, I use this project in my intro to CS class. And I've never had a student not be able to finish it. it. It's 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 that doable once you figure out what's going on. Uh, Mr. Dominic, sir, I'm going to ask you to take your cell phone now and give it to me. And I will give it to you back at the end of the class. Sir, this is your only warning this year. The next time I take it, I'm going to hold it till 2.05. All right. So that is the first lab. Does anybody have any questions on? House with Sunrise. You have 90 minutes. You'll have 90 minutes Wednesday to work on this lab. Most of you will finish way before that 90 minutes. And if that is the case, there's one other lab you need to do here that uses the same facilities. Uh, let me show you that here. Uh, you're going to draw a sailboat, something like that. That will be your sailboat, okay? And this, this is supposed to be a circle. And what's hard about this is that you have to make this parallelogram shape here, sorry, this uh, rhombus shape. And you'll notice that there is no rhombus here. So you have to build this uh, boat bow using rectangles and triangles. I'll give you a hint since I won't be here. There's actually a triangle here. There's actually a white triangle that's right here that is uh, coincident with the background, which is making it look like there's a uh a, a rhombus here even though really i said rhombus boy i'm not doing well this is a trapezoid and it's been a while for me on the geometry anyway uh so you have to cut out these pieces here using triangles to make it look slanted here so if you finish the house with sunrise this will be the more challenging sailboat project that you will work on next all right sail the house with sunrise is required this is optional but you should try to get it done you'll practice a little bit more Anybody have any questions about that project? All right, the other lab that we're going to do, which is gonna be on Friday, is going to be the crab lab, and I'm gonna introduce that one now. Let's go over here. We're talking about the crab lab. And the crab lab, uh, the first thing I need to show you is there are videos for the crab lab. Let's go over back to Google Classroom. Uh, back to CSA and the classwork. And if you click on this crab lab and go to the assignment here, 
uh, you'll see that there's a link to your online textbook. If you go there now, uh, you'll see that the Crab Lab is right here, and then there are five videos, one for each part, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to get set up for the Crab Lab today. Mr. Roth will guide you through the basics of the Crab Lab and how to get started. But today, I just want to install the files and make sure that Greenfoot is working on your computer. So uh, some of you are on the school computers. Some of you are your, on your own computer. If you're on your own computer, then before you come to class on Wednesday, you need to download and install Greenfoot. See, that's Greenfoot right there on your machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you're on the school computer, I think Greenfoot is already running. Let's first make sure that Greenfoot is running on the school computers. Let's go down here and type in Greenfoot, and you should see the Greenfoot app show up. If you're on a school computer, can you tell me if Greenfoot is there or not there? It's all there, right? So they haven't uh, taken it off over the summer. That's good. Now, if you're on your personal computer, you need to go up here to this greenfoot.org, greenfoot.org uh, organization, and uh, then you need to get the software. So you just come down here and you click on that. And then depending on whether you're a Windows person, a Mac person, or a Linux person, you're going to pick which one you want. And most of you will pick Windows. Uh, some of you have Macs. Anyway, you'll download and install this on your personal computer and bring it to you on Wednesday. You want to make sure it's running. So we're going to uh, check to see if it's running right now. So uh, I want everybody either uh, to download um, uh, or get, if you don't have it on your computer, please log on to the school computer just for today. And uh, we're going to make sure that Greenfoot can run. All right, so I'm going to get Greenfoot going here on my machine. And so here's Greenfoot. And you can see that when Greenfoot first starts up, uh, it gives you a blank screen. If you happen to have left off working on some other project, it will bring you back to that project when it starts up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, 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 load a scenario called the crab scenario. So if you go over here and you can see, uh, there are, this says new Java scenario, and basically it wants you to go and find the scenario and load it. But of course, we haven't loaded any scenarios on our machine yet. So the other thing we're going to do today is we're going to load all the scenarios from the Green Book site, and that we're going to do this in preparation for Friday's lab. So let's go over to the Greenfoot site right here. And uh, if you go over to where it says is it scenario, no, that's not it. Um, uh, come over here. Uh, come over here and type in um, type in greenfoot.org book. I think, it, yeah, T type in book up here. Let me magnify this for you so you can see what I type. Here's the magnifier. So if you type in greenfoot.org book up here, all right, if you type in book, uh, it'll take you to this book right here. And right over here uh, in the resources, you can see here it says the book scenarios. And it's like 24 megabytes worth of scenarios. So if you click on that, you'll see that it will create a zip file for you that will be right here. So once that zip file finishes downloading, you're going to show in folder, and we're going to, once again, you notice that it's a zippered folder with a zipper on it. You want the unzippered version, so you're going to double click on that. It will expose the book scenarios without the zipper, and you're going to take that, and you're either going to drag it onto your desktop, or even better would be to take it and drag it onto your numbered drive inside your BlueJ folder. I'll just take it here and put it on the desktop. And it's going to take a few minutes because there's 1,700 files in this folder. So it's going to just take a few minutes. So please uh, do that now. And now. 
what we're going to do is we have our book scenarios right here. So next time we start Greenfoot, we're in a position to load some of these scenarios. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say scenario, new Java scenario. And we're going to say choose. And we're going to work our way over to the desktop. And here are the book scenarios. And I think the Crab Lab, let's see, is it chapter one? No, I think it's unit two, chapter two. Uh, here we go. And you can see the Crab Lab is here. And we're going to just click on this first one called the Little Crab. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to, uh, I, I did it wrong here. It's not, it's got to be uh, open, not, not, not new scenario. It's open. And uh, let's do it again. So we're going to go to uh, desktop. Uh, book scenarios, chapter two, little crab, and, and that's it like that. Okay, there we go. And once you do that, it'll take a minute for it to compile, but that's your crab. Now, can anyone guess what does this represent here? Anybody? Mr. Owen, what does that look like to you? That's right. That's the sand where the crab lives. And uh, let's create a crab right now so you can see right here. If I go right here, right mouse click and say new crab, I put the crab there. And then when I run the scenario, you can see that the crab doesn't do very much. Can anyone guess why the crab is not moving? Mr. Dominic, any guesses? Right, you haven't coded anything yet. So let's reset this and look inside the crab. Last, if I double click on the crab and you can see that the editor for Greenfoot is what? It's Blue Jay. Why is that? It's because the same guy who wrote Greenfoot also wrote Blue Jay. So he's one of the like the top five computer science teachers in the country. I think he's a professor at uh, in uh, England in uh, Imperial College. Anyway, uh, you can see you have to code this. We're not going to code it today, but Mr. Roth will show you how to make the crab move and then you'll have to do all kinds of stuff. And in case anything happens to Mr. Roth between now and later this week, I should tell you that you can also um, learn how to work on this by, uh, by, by looking at these videos. So they'll get you going also. And similarly with the House with Sunrise, if for any reason Mr. Roth is not here on Wednesday, uh, there's a link in your project here to this video that will give you directions on how to do the lab in case Mr. Roth gets hit by a bus or something. Okay, we don't want to lose our house with sunrise if Mr. Roth gets hit by a bus. So you have instructions here, but hopefully Mr. Roth will be here and will guide you through both of these labs.